गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जी के टूडे एंड टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज फॉर नाइनटीन्थ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री लेट स्टार्ट विद आवर सेशन इंडिया रिसेंटली ऑर्गेनाइज इट्स फर्स्ट एवर इन्वेस्टमेंट फोरम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री विद विच पर्टिकुलर कंट्री सो इंडिया सऊदी अरेबिया इन्वेस्टमेंट फोरम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री वॉज रिसेंटली ऑर्गेनाइज इन न्यू डेली and this is the first formal investment symposium between the two nations so more than 500 companies from both the countries participated in this event and the saudi crown prince had previously announced an investment of nearly 100 billion dollars in different sectors of the indian economy also this forum witnessed the signing of more than 45 memorandum of understandings the aim of which is to deepen the economic engagement and boosting the investment flows okay so recently india organized its first investment forum along with the country saudi arabia now saudi arabia was also in news because of two things first of all recently it has signed a memorandum of understanding with india on energy cooperation the second news is recently saudi arabia organized the meeting of strategic partnership council along with the country india fine and we know that saudi arabia is now one of the new countries of brics which six countries are set to join brics these are argentina egypt ethiopia iran saudi arabia and the country uae okay now let's revise some of the important international current affairs which country proposed to launch G20 satellite mission for environment and climate observation this is our country india why we are doing so so as to help the countries of global south india launched infrastructure financing bridge along with which country so india has launched this infrastructure financing bridge along with the uk why to facilitate major infrastructure project exercise eagle partner is a joint military exercise between USA and which other country so this is the exercise between USA and the country Armenia also these days varuna was in news and it is a bilateral exercise between India and France USA has announced prisoner exchange and fund transfer along with which country answer would be Iran and five prisoners each from both the countries are said to be transferred to each other's countries Flying Taj Mahal is the nickname of the aircraft of which country's prime minister this is the nickname of the aircraft of the prime minister of canada and who is the current prime minister of canada mr justin trudeau okay next question is which city is the host of workshop on business responsibility and sustainability reporting so the indian institute of corporate affairs in partnership with unicef and the national stock exchange organized a workshop on business responsibility and sustainability reporting in the mumbai city and this framework which was rooted in the nine principles of the national guidelines for responsible business conduct mandates top 1000 listed companies to disclose their performance on different environmental social and the governance aspect fine so the host for workshop on business responsibility and sustainability reporting is mumbai now let's revise some of the important cities that were in news these days first is which city approved the aspirational city scheme for 100 most backward urban areas we will discuss this question in a detailed manner in this lecture itself later on here correct answer is uttar pradesh Which city is the host of the first global symposium on the farmers' right? Answer would be New Delhi, and this symposium was organized at Indian Council of Agricultural Research Convention Center in New Delhi. Which Indian city is set to launch an innovative disease surveillance dashboard? This is Bangalore city. Which place has become Florida's first sanctuary city for LGBTQ plus individuals and their families? This is Lake. worth beach okay medal of the city of paris has been revoked from whom 
so in 2015 it was given to mahmud abbas who was a palestinian leader but later on because of his comments regarding denial of holocaust history medal of the city of paris has been revoked which city topped the swachh vayu sarvekshan 2023 clean air survey once again the topper of this survey is indore at second it was agra and agra was followed by thane that lies in maharashtra fine next is which union ministry organized the international conference on dam safety so the department of water resources river development and ganga rejuvenation of ministry of jal shakti is organizing this international conference on dam safety in the city of jaipur and this conference was inaugurated under the theme safe and secure dams ensure nations prosperity okay so india hosted more than 6000 dams and this event focuses on enhancing the dam safety discussing cutting edge topics and highlighting the dam rehabilitation and improvement project phase 2 and phase 3 okay so this project is associated with ministry of jal shakti let's revise some of the important ministries that were in news which union ministry released the pm daksh portal it was released by ministry of social justice and empowerment what is the full form of daksh portal it is prime minister dakshita and kushalta sampan hitvehi yojana okay which union ministry has conceptualized the culture corridor g20 digital museum obvious answer is ministry of culture national council of educational research and training that means ncert is an autonomous organization functioning under which union ministry so ncert functions under ministry of education and why ncert was in news because recently it has been granted the deemed to be university status who is our current education minister dharmendra pradhan great grant which was seen in the news recently is associated with which union ministry it is related to ministry of textile and what is the full form of great it is grant for research and entrepreneurship across aspiring innovators in technical textile once again great stands for grant for research and entrepreneurship across aspiring innovators in technical textile fine next question is araku coffee which was one of the gifts presented to the leaders at g20 summit is from which particular state actually during the recent g20 summit that took place in delhi world leaders were presented with a selection of handicrafted gifts representing india's diverse culture heritage and these gifts included for example itar from kannauj saffron from kashmir this araku coffee from the state of andhra pradesh and tea from the nilgiris etc and all these products were packaged in a chest that was adorned with brass detailing also the gift featured sundarbans honey zigrana itar from kannauj pashmina shawls from chantangi goats khadi scarves that symbolizes india's freedom struggle and commemorative coins and stamps okay so this araku coffee is a product from the state of andhra pradesh let's revise some of the important products that have got the gi tag recently the first one is wood carving wood carving from ladakh has got the gi tag this year second is basoholi painting basoholi painting is a product of jammu and kashmir and recently it got the gi tag from jammu and kashmir various products got the gi status for example moral mushroom the second product is rajori chikri wood craft okay and next one is mushk budji rice this is a variety of rice these are few of the products that got the gi tag this year from jammu and kashmir next one is a variety of mango named as manku rath mankurad mango and it is a product from goa state another is kambam grapes this is a variety of grape and it is from the state of tamil nadu from tamil nadu there is one more product named as mana madurai pottery this product also got the gi tag in the same year okay 
नेक्स्ट इज एज पर रिसेंट रिपोर्ट वॉट परसेंटेज ऑफ सिटिंग एम पीज इन इंडिया हैव क्रिमिनल केसेज दिस इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन एक्चुअली अ रिपोर्ट बाय द एसोसिएशन फॉर डेमोक्रेटिक रिफॉर्म्स रिवील्स दैट नियरली फोर्टी परसेंटेज ऑफ सिटिंग मेंबर्स ऑफ पार्लियामेंट इन इंडिया हैव क्रिमिनल केसेस रजिस्टर्ड अगेंस्ट दैम सो ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ दैम फेसिंग सीरियस क्रिमिनल चार्जेस लाइक मर्डर अटेम्प्टेड मर्डर किडनेपिंग एंड क्राइम्स अगेंस्ट वुमेन एंड ऑल्सो द रिपोर्ट हाईलाइट्स दैट सेवन परसेंट ऑफ एम पी आर बिलियनाइट्स विद इन एवरेज वर्थ ऑफ असेट्स पर एम पी फ्रॉम द लोक सभा एंड राज्य सभा बींग थर्टी एट पॉइंट सो हेयर करेक्ट आंसर वुड बी फोर्टी परसेंट दिस फिगर इज क्वाइट शॉकिंग एक्चुअली नॉलेज से वाइज सम ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट फैक्ट्स एंड फिगर्स एज पर द डेटा फ्रॉम इंटरनेशनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फॉर माइग्रेशन विच इज द वर्ल्ड डेडलीएस्ट लैंड माइग्रेशन रूट हियर आंसर वुड बी यू एस मैक्सिको बॉर्डर ओके रिसेंटली दिस बॉर्डर हैज बीन आइडेंटिफाइड एज द वर्ल्ड डेडलीएस्ट लैंड माइग्रेशन रूट अकॉर्डिंग टू द डेटा फ्रॉम यूनाइटेड नेशंस इंटरनेशनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन for migration actually in 2022 it recorded 686 deaths and disappearances among the migrants along the border with 307 of these deaths occurring in the sonora desert and these figures likely under represent the actual death toll due to missing data right so this us mexico border is the world's deadliest land migration route As per the study published in the British Medical Journal, which type of cancer has witnessed highest increase? So, as per this journal, overall the cancer cases have been increased, but especially breast cancers have been significantly increased. Okay, what is the conservation status of stump-tailed macaque as per IUCN Red List? As per this IUCN Red List, it comes under vulnerable category. As per the annual lightning report. Which state recorded the highest number of flashes in 2022 to 23? Answer would be Madhya Pradesh. Also, the highest death because of lightning comes from Madhya Pradesh itself. As per the data recently released by ISRO, what is the highest temperature recorded on the lunar surface in Chandrayaan mission? This is 70 degree Celsius. Next question is: Indian Navy signed a memorandum of understanding with which ride-hailing service? So the Indian Navy signed a memorandum of understanding with Uber which is the American ride hailing service and it aims to provide reliable convenient safe and economically mobility solution for personal travel and commute of naval personnel and their families across the country fine so Indian Navy signed this MOU with Uber recently talking about some defense related current affairs Ministry of Defense signed 19000 crore rupees contract with which company for five fleet support ships for indian navy this is hindustan shipyard limited indian navy decommissioned ins kirpan and handed over the corvette to which country recently we have decommissioned ins kirpan and now we have gifted it to the country vietnam admiral lisa franchetti is the first woman to hold the post of navy's top officer in which country answer would be usa INS Trishul conducted India's first ever joint exclusive economic zone surveillance with which country's navy this is Tanzania and last question is which indian company has collaborated with the spain's naventia for indian navy's p75i submarine program bid answer would be larsen and tobro fine next question is neoma airfield which was seen in the news recently is located in which state or the union territory So our defense minister Rajnath Singh virtually inaugurated 90 infrastructure projects built by the Borders Road Organization at a cost exceeding 2900 crore rupees. And the projects span 11 states and the union territories including two revamped airfields Bagdogra and Barakpur in West Bengal and the Neoma airfield in the Eastern Ladakh which will actually boost air infrastructure and augment the Indian Air Force's capabilities along the northern border fine so Neoma airfield lies in Ladakh now let's have a look at some of the important questions Timor Leste which was seen in the news recently is located in which region it lies in southeastern 
Asia and why it was in news because India has decided to establish an embassy here few days back. Next is Hero Kim Kun Ok which was seen recently in the news is which type of defense equipment? It is a kind of submarine. Okay. And with which country it is associated to? Answer would be North Korea. Kinzel missile that was recently making news is developed by which country? Kinzel missile is a product of Russia. MQ-9B predator drone that was in news recently was developed by which country? These are drones belong to the country US. Satkoshia Tiger Reserve that was recently making news is in which state? Satkoshia Tiger Reserve belong to the state of Odisha. Okay. Next question is, which city approved the aspirational city scheme for 100 most backward urban areas? So Uttar Pradesh cabinet has approved the implementation of aspirational city scheme in 100 of the most backward urban areas with populations ranging from 20,000 to 1 lakh. And under the scheme, projects will be executed through funding from government schemes, including central and state government programs, as well as MP and MLA funds. And the selection of these 100 aspirational urban areas will be based on 16 parameters that is set by Niti Aayog among 762 urban areas. Fine. So Uttar Pradesh has approved the aspirational city scheme for 100 most backward urban areas. Next is, which state introduced the Nandini Krishak Samriddhi Yojana? Again answer is Uttar Pradesh. Government of Uttar Pradesh has introduced the Nandini Krishak Samriddhi Yojana under the Nand Baba mission. Why? To enhance the cattle breeds and boost milk production in the state. And basic aim is to improve the cow breeds, particularly Sahiwal, Gir, and Ganga Tiri so as to increase the milk production and the income of dairy farmers and the government will provide a 50% subsidy on the estimated cost of 62.5 lakh rupees for establishing a unit of 25 milch cows with a maximum subsidy of 31.25 lakh rupees per beneficiary fine so Nandini Krishak Samriddhi Yojana belongs to the state of Uttar Pradesh. Now let's revise some of the important schemes that were in news. Mukhya Mantri Ladli Bahina Avas Yojana is associated with which Indian state? Answer would be Madhya Pradesh. Which state launched the Mukhya Mantri Medhabi Chhatra Protsahan Yojana? This is the initiative of Odisha state. Which state implements the Mukhya Mantri Chiranjeevi Swasthya Bhima Yojana? Answer would be Rajasthan. Vidhayak Shetra Vikas Nidhi Yojana is associated with which state or the Union Territory? This is the scheme from Himachal Pradesh. Which state has announced the Indira Gandhi Free Smartphone Yojana 2023? This is Rajasthan. Now last question says, which country has won their first ever FIBA Basketball World Cup title? So Germany have won their first ever FIBA Basketball World Cup title by beating the country Serbia. And with this, Germany became the first team to win a FIBA World Cup crown in their final debut since Spain in the year 2006. So here, correct answer would be Germany. And Germany has defeated the country, Serbia. Let's revise some of the important sport-related current affairs. Alexander Grishuk, who was seen in the news recently, is associated with which sport? So he is associated with chess. And why he was in news? Because recently he has clinched the blitz chess title right and he is from the country russia when is the national sports day celebrated in india it is observed on 29th of august mohammed anas and Ahmed jacob who were in the news are associated with which sport both of these persons are associated with relay parul chaudhary who was seen in the news recently is associated with which sport so she is associated with steeple chase and why she was in news because she was placed at 11th position in women's 3000 meters steeplechase finals in the world athletics championship the venue of which is budapest okay which country has developed a device for the visually impaired for playing the sports of shooting so answer would be germany so these are the most important current affairs and the news from today and now let's start with today's quiz 
here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two three days current affairs pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section so please be honest and do not cheat with yourself so that's it for today i hope you have liked the session these were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this meenu sahasana signing off